When will people ever learn, folks, that you do not send anything through the post via Parcel Force, Hermes, UPS, whoever? Don't send it through the post, just wrapped in bubble wrap, because there's bound to be tears before bedtime. Well, I'm going to unbox, well, I'm going to unwrap the vacuum part of this video. There's another box that comes with it. And hopefully we'll find a vacuum cleaner that isn't damaged. Well, it's a good job that this cleaner was made in Germany and is pretty solid because on first glance it seems to be in one piece. Although why the seller didn't dismantle it and put it in a box, I don't know. But anyway, this is, and let's try and pronounce it correctly, this is a Vorwerk. Vorwerk. I think the V is pronounced F and the W is pronounced V. Those Germans. I just want to say for work, but it's for work, for work. I should know, I've got German heritage apparently. My surname is German. I didn't realize, but it is. Oh good, that bit isn't even broken. So here we are, it's a E, no, it's not an ET. It's a VK121 upright with an ET340 power head. So I'll have a look at that in more closer detail. Yes, I'm, I'm into uh, this brand at the moment. Uh, yes, after buying na, 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 this, this is an earlier version, not that early, well it's still quite quite old compared to the latest one. And you can see quite a, quite a lot of development has gone on over the years with this company. So we'll pop the new one to one side, it's not that video. Um, we'll have a look at this, but first of all I need to open the box. Because I'm assuming the box contains the tools that I bought with this particular vacuum stay so here it is let's have a look at the tools i've got okie dokie i've had one of these before uh, a vk121 it could have been a vk120 or it was similar to this anyway it might have been slightly different oh is that something broken i'm not sure we'll have a look at that in a minute um yeah this was before I decided to put my ugly face on YouTube. I had one of these and just sort of wanted one to look at and decided not to keep it, you know. But after buying, <laughs> after selling my soul to be able to afford the VK200, it sort of rekindled my interest in this brand and um, I've got two more on the way as well as this one, two later versions. I'm also hankering for a Tiger, which is their cylinder model, an older Tiger. But I'd also like one of their new ones too. Right. Ugh. Now, ooh, if you check back on my channel, I did actually have, I've got one video of four Verk, and it was basically just opening a bag, a dark uh, green bag. Uh, similar to this with all the tools and um, yes I think I bought those I did actually try and buy one of these a while ago and it got lost in the post how such a large item can get lost I don't know I think it got lost into somebody's uh, house I expect now then this bag's a bit uh, dirty right I think somebody told me that um, these tools weren't genuine. Well, I think they look genuine to me. We'll soon find out when we have a closer look at this bag of bits. So we'll start with the biggest item here. Look at that. That is a separate head. Now, I don't believe this head actually fits onto the cleaner itself it fits on via a handle now this is just um the dry carpet cleaning head so it's a separate head that just agitates the dry powder solution so yeah i don't think there's any suction on this well, it's got an end cap that's a little bit loose oops hang on yeah each brush is individual so there is no suction whatsoever it doesn't look like it's used very much so this is to be used with the 
dry cleaning I think Kobo sand, dry cleaning carpet powder. There's nothing to stop me using this with SIBO Duo P or any of the other dry cleaning powders. But that's all that does, that rotates, hopefully, if it works, and agitates the powder in and then when it's dry you vacuum it off using the machine. See if it says anything about it on here, the wattage. Made in Germany and it's 110 watts, the motor inside here. Um, it looks like it's got a reset button. I'm not sure if that's an actual light there, but it does have a cutout in case the brushes get jammed. So there's that. Now, this is your straight suction head, and this is definitely genuine. Well, it's a straight suction for hard floors by the looks, not carpets. That seems some, seen at some use, but not loads. So that's for your hard floors. There we go. Then this, I'm pretty sure you can comment below. I know it's green, but I think that, I don't think that belongs to this. I think this is for a garden hose to wash your car with, to be honest. But before I throw it out, please comment below if you think that belongs to this set. When I saw it in the eBay listing, I thought, no, nah, that's, that's not right somehow. I mean, I can use it to brush the cleaner down, I suppose, but yeah, it's quite an old style that. It's not, got even, it's not even got a hose lock fitting on it. So I'll put that to one side. I don't think that belongs somehow. This is genuine because it's got Vorwerk embossed. And this is sort of your hard surface brush. I think it's mainly not for floors. It's mainly for like you can do your walls and other sort of hard surfaces. Does that come off? I think it does. That comes off and then you've just got quite a large straight suction nozzle and then that clips back on. It's easy. Oh, that's, that's, oh, which way is it? Well, I thought I was doing it correctly. There we go. That's on there. Now, what else have we got? Now these, oh, crikey, they're genuine. When I saw this in the listing, I thought, oh, they're just those generic little um, air fresheners you pop in the dust bag. But no, they are actually genuine fresheners. So it's something that uh, Vorwerk have done for many years because my latest model has those little see-through clear chips that fit into a special compartment. I'm not sure if these have a special place to put them or we just put them in the bag. I think somewhere in here we've got the instruction book. So I'll be able to find out where to stick those or if you want to tell me in the list in the <laughs> in the uh, comments below where I can stick these feel free to tell me where you'd like me to stick them and uh, right, this is genuine too because again it's embossed for Vorwerk. Quite a nice dusting brush, not adjustable like the latest version, but fairly soft. And it's the push button, you've got a push button release. Here's your general upholstery nozzle. I think that's just fixed, you've got your litter pickers. Quite a nice design. And here's your crevice nozzle. Ooh, is that plaster dust? It's a little bit uh, skew if it'll bend back into shape. Again, that is genuine. It says so on there. And onto this, we can fit hardly used radiator brush for cleaning down the backs of your radiator. You might be able to clean the back of your fridge freezer or something as well. You know, all the grill, the veins, the tubing on the back of your refrigerator. You might be able to dislodge the fluff with that. So you've got a regular crevice tool and the radiator brush. Then we've got quite similar actually design to the latest, although that end swivels. And I think it is telescopic. I think it, oh, I think it is telescopic folks, but I can't see how. It feels like, oh yeah, there we go. Didn't want to force it. There we go. So it's a telescopic tube. I'm not keen on this green, are you? This was their trademark colour. They've gone to all white now with a hint of green, um, which I prefer. Much more modern. I think there's a date stamp on here, if I can see it. Oh, yes. 94. Made it. Oh, heck. This is made in Italy on it. 
1994. I mean, I don't know if that is genuine. Did they make any experts out there? Did they make some of the parts in Italy or is that one not genuine? I can't see a stamp. Why it wouldn't be genuine, I'm not sure. But anyway, what's this? Oh, this is the hose. Just basic uh, hose. It's not a powered hose. This is where you can put all your attachments. That's it. And you see they all fit in nice and securely and, until you press the button and release them. And this hose also contains, if I can do it right, or is it, oh no, I think you just pull it out. Not sure, I don't know if that's jammed in. I think that should come out further than that. This is a carry strap. So, oh, there we are, it's coming out now. So when you have the hose connected to the machine in uh, above floor mode, without the handle attached, you've got this built-in shoulder strap. So this obviously goes into the cleaner end where the main floor nozzle is, and then this clips to another part of the cleaner. So you can carry it, quite a short hose, does seem pretty good quality. So that's that, and obviously when you're finished, if you can be bothered, you just go like this, and you twist it until the strap stores neatly inside like that. That's good. Showing you that, what's in here? A spot remover, ooh. Does it work on acne, I wonder? Made in Germany. This is effective against stubborn protein, fruit, and drink spots. Hmm. Not on acne then. I wonder if it's sealed up. It's got a child uh, lid on. Oh, it's, uh, hang on, I'm gonna give it a sniff. Oh, oh. no, it doesn't smell of anything. <laughs> Could be too old to be effective. But there we go. Of course, Vorwerk do their own cleaning spot remover and all sorts of things now. Just updated, really. Right, is there anything hiding in these pockets? I'm hoping that the instruction books, yes, here they are. I'll have a look at those in a minute, but we'll just first have a look. We haven't got anything in here. This is gonna need a clean. I think I'll be able to wash this. I might wash it in the washing machine. Just on a gentle cycle. I can't see it, it uh, falling to bits. It's, oh, it's uh, spewing out some muck. Oh. We'll have to vacuum that up somehow. I don't know how, but uh, I'll, I'll come across something, hopefully. What's this, then? This is for work, our best for your family. Mail order and special offers. The ultimate system. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, look at this, folks. Oh, we can buy. We can buy these things. Not anymore. I've got one of these. That's got the newer, a newer model. I think I've got one of those coming. This one. Well, I've got two very similar ones. Well, they want 528 for that. And for the VK121, oh no, they're just selling the, the filter bag thing there. Look, or we can buy the handle. You can buy more bags. Kobo San and the spot remover, etc. The prices: ten dust bags will cost thirteen pounds. The Kobo San snow for six sachets is twenty-four. It's about twenty-five pounds for five sachets now, so they haven't gone up that much. This is in Wokingham. You send this off to. I'll place my order tomorrow and see if they send me them. I doubt they will somehow. And then, this is something that sort of persuaded me to actually buy this particular one. These are ten a penny on eBay. Well, there's quite a lot of them on eBay UK and um, other European countries. Germany, I expect, and Italy will have quite a few of these. So here we have the Ultimate Home Care Concept, the complete vacuum cleaner and dry cleaning system, instruction manual and guarantee. It's in quite good condition. You've got £10 off for servicing. I don't know if they still service them. You'd think they would offer service, wouldn't you? And there's a gentleman supporting, or not supporting, sporting, a lovely moustache there. And that gentleman is called Eric McGlenachan. Eric, anyway. He's managing director. I don't think he is anymore, but he was. 
he might he might have passed on who knows so we've got uh, this is good to um, have the instruction book because when I had this before it was just trial and error does you know working out what fits where how do you do this etc so it's got everything so you can see here this is how we connect the carpet cleaning head to the handle so it becomes its own sort of standalone unit but it does utilize the handle of the vacuum that should come off so that's all very good what's the technical specification of this obviously this predates those EU labels 250 watt motor that's all it's got crikey that's for the vacuum cleaner and the the 340 deep cleaning head is 100 watts. Anyway, I will peruse that over a lovely cup of coffee later. Let's have a look at the vacuum and hopefully, oh, well, I think I can safely say, I think that came out of the, um, the bag. I think I can safely say that doesn't belong to this vacuum. So let's have a look at the vacuum now and hopefully be able to clean up this mess. Oh dearie me, this is the underside of the power head. Now I, I did expect to have to buy some new brushes for this. I wasn't banking on buying a new base plate, but I will do. You can buy base plates for this. Unfortunately, it'll be probably not genuine, but this, ooh, uh, what the heck's that? It's sticky. This is awful, folks. You can buy these complete heads on eBay as well. I'll have a look. That is completely worn. I will get some new brushes. It definitely needs them. It's a two parts. You get two separate. It's central driven. It doesn't have a belt as such, I don't think. I don't really want to run that over my carpet, but my carpet's getting replaced very soon. So if it puts a dirty mark on it, so be it. But eh, uh, yeah. So that. Ah, oh, and I can see they actually provide a little red brush <laughs> as an indicator. I don't know if you can quite see it. Can you just about see it? It's hiding behind this bar here. If I turn it a bit. Oh, you can just about see that one. Look. Is that on there? There. See that? There. 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 No. There. There. <laughs> there it is. That little red brush, if you can just about see it there, is uh, to indicate when to replace the brush roll and that's way down so yes if the motor in this is fine a new brush roll and a new base plate I think is in order unless I can find you can often find these parts selling on their own I might be able to get a nice cleaner newer looking one than this it might work out cheaper than buying a base plate and these two brushes but anyway so that's that I think we access the brush roll from does this come open I should be looking at the instructions really but I think this top is supposed to come off I'll look at that in further detail we have a, a reset button and a red light so again I'm assuming if the brush roll gets clogged up with anything the red light will come on it'll switch off and we can reset it with the red button we can take the whole thing off there so this is an ET340. I'll have a look. I'll have, I think, I don't know if I had one of these in this. I just sold a set of parts. That bag that I un unbagged ages ago, I sold it recently. Not thinking I'd ever buy any uh, more four Verks again, but yes, I have. Should have kept it, shouldn't I? Never mind. Yeah, look at this mess. Yeah, so here's the uh, cleaner. I'll just take off the mains cable and that's original because it's the same green it does have a fitted UK plug on it now how do we get into this uh, ooh, I bet this is filthy I have got some spare bags for this I bought them direct and uh, they're green now but they are genuine pretty sure that they're... I'll leave this in for the quick demo before I uh, clean this up it's fairly empty Ooh. Uh, oh I thought that was <clears throat> yeah. this filter bag I'll see about washing it otherwise um, 
Nick, another good vacuum. It's a little bit similar to the Felix, but this is a soft, the Felix looks like it's got a soft bag, but it's just a filter um, over hard casing. But this is sort of like a plastic cage with a filter material and then a fabric cover. Ugh. Here's a little flap that closes. So it's bottom fill, it fills up this way. I think these are dirty fan as well. A dirty fan, fan first cleaner, just like the old Hoover Juniors and Seniors. The dirt passes through the fan and blows into the bag. And that little flap stops the dirt falling back out again. It's a little bit more sophisticated on the latest versions. You can hear it when you switch the machine off on the VK200. You can hear this little pop noise and that is the it's basically the it, that is actually on the bag now on the new versions it's a sprung sprung loaded little flap on the bag and it's held open with a little spring when it's in operation and when it, you turn it off this spring moves and it, it forces the bag to close itself so yeah that's just a bit dirty as we've come to expect from second-hand vacuum cleaners you have to accept that you're going to get dirty things sent through the post. So there, that fits on like that. And I believe, yes, you can actually seal the bag. There is a little, there's a little doobie. Does that pull down? I don't really want to do it, but it looks like it's an old bag, so it might not uh, do da. It looks like there's some sort of sealing mechanism on that, but I won't try it now wonder if the new bags do that. So then we've got to close that off. There we are. It is a, it, you know, feels good. Well built. Well, it survived being sent to me in just bubble wrap. So a lot of cleaners would not have lasted. Even this bit here, this is a hook, I assume for hanging it up. And it was like that, I think when I opened it. I mean, that hasn't even broken off. You'd have expected that to have snapped off, but it has survived. There's a top hook there, a fixed top hook for the cable. And here we've got the on off switch. And there is a way of taking off the handle. Is there, oh yes, there's a button. There's a button here. Oh, there we are. You see, this all comes, this could have been sent in a box, you know. They could have done this. Well, they could have, yeah. Whoops. Oh, that's different. Didn't look like that when I opened it first time. Oh dear. <laughs> Is that some sort of a filter? Well, it's just a mesh thing. Um, yeah, they could have sent it in a, a large-ish box. They could have put it in like this and put all the other bits in instead of sending it in two parcels. Right, hang on, I've made a made a bit of an error here something's come away that shouldn't have oh that is fixed oh mm. right anyway it's too late to show the seller that you could have put it in a smaller box it's arrived in one piece and that's all that matters so there's that so this bit is the handle and of course this is what we fit the dry cleaner to so it just slots in there should be a little button, yes there, hang on. Am I yes, I'm doing it the right way. Should, oh, there we are, there we go. So now, that's an ingenious little hinge. We've got this to revitalize the carpet and brush in the dry cleaning powder. Tell you what folks, let's try this first, shall we? See if this works. Let's brush in, it's off, isn't it? No, it's on. Oh, doesn't stand up on its own. And it sort of folds down like that. Okay. Oh heck. Oh, I better t I better do that. Turn it on at the wall. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> that was fun, folks. We could. Hey, I need to get another one, and then we can race them, can't we? Go far with the box in the way. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Oh, my foot's gone to sleep. Ah, oh, 
Yes, you're not supposed to do that, I don't think. You're supposed to hold on to the handle. And don't, don't be silly. Yes, I can see that working well as a, a dry cleaner for agitating the stuff in. Pretty good. Right, before I take the handle off, I'll just switch it off at the wall in case. Take that off. It's all a bit stiff, there we are. Oh, is that, a, oh, I've got a wasp. Just seen a dead wasp. Now, can you do this? No. Why you would want to. I was just seeing if I could fit that to there, but there'd be no reason. Well, before I fit that, well, we could. Pop the hose on. There we are. Pop the hose on and, uh, well, we need to put the handle on, otherwise this cleaner won't work. They could have made, you know, a battery version, surely. Well, not, not then, then, back when this was in uh, shops. Well, not in the shops, but you know. Why could they make a sort of a version that you could use like this without the handle as a sort of re battery rechargeable device? And then when you want it mains, you see, that's where I think that could be the next thing, vacuums. Hybrid, we, we've had a hybrid for Mila. There might have been another hybrid cleaner that's battery operated and mains. So you can have the mains power when you want it or the cordless convenience, you see? Think about it, manufacturers, if any of you are watching. I, Shark, I could see them doing something along those lines. Right, let's see. Ooh. Oh, I'll risk it. Oh, no, it's not on. I hope. Well, that sounds very nice. It smells a bit, but it's just that old vacuum dusty smell. I think with a new bag and a clean filter bag, it will perform a lot better. I don't think it's gonna increase the suction that much. I'm not sure if there's uh, much point in measuring the suction because it's gonna be very hard to get a proper seal due to the shape of the end. None of the attachments I've looked at are going to give me a tight seal so I'll have to just give a very rough idea of this it doesn't feel like it's got very much suction when I'm putting my hand over so I'm going to have to just sort of try and get a round thing into a square hole so basically I'll have to put my finger in there and try and seal it as much as I can with the with the other hand and just see where the gauge goes Well, I think just about 20 on the gauge with a new bag and a proper seal. It might go up to about 25, but yeah, it's not great suction, is it? But I didn't expect it would be at such a low, low wattage motor. So finally, we will see if this ET340 head works. As I said, it does need, certainly needs new brushes without a doubt. Let's just uh, attach the nozzle to the cleaner. Is that in place? I think it is. We'll at least see if we can pick up the rest of the mess on the carpet that was left from the uh, unbagging all the tools.
Well, the cleaner head doesn't sound very healthy, does it? Let's just uh, have another look. As long as the motors sound, it's... it's mm, Well, the motor sounds pretty good. It's very quiet. It's just, I think all the problem is in here. So whether it's just a case of the new brushes to improve matters or not, I'm not sure, but they're pretty easy to come across these, uh, these heads. So I'm not too bothered about that. So all in all, I'm pretty pleased with this vacuum, despite its uh, problems. It's very comfortable to use. It is very tall, so it would suit a taller person. But even if you're not so tall, I mean, it's still comfortable to use. It's uh, nice, it glides nicely over the carpet. It's quite quiet. Well, it will be when the, the head works properly. But yes, I'm pretty pleased with uh, this VK121. A bit of an unusual cleaner. But yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice machine. And I'm sure once I've finished with it, it will be even nicer. So there you go. That's the end of today's video on this Forvac VK121 and accessories. If you have any comments or questions about this vacuum cleaner, please comment below. If you want to berate my pronunciation of Forvac, please also do so as if I give a damn. Of course I give a damn. I really care about what you think. Oh. <laughs> Life's too short to be <laughs> worried about how I pronounce the vacuum cleaner. Well, you can see it for yourself. However you pronounce it, it's up to you. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. And I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Don't forget, subscribe. If you've got to this stage in the video, you might as well subscribe if you want more of the same. Or, well, lots of different things, actually. Different vacuum cleaners and carpet washers to look at. Unbox and demonstrate, then uh, subscribe to my channel, please. So until the next time, folks, it's goodbye for me and goodbye from the VK121.